वेलकम बैक टू स्कूल अफ सीविल इंजिनियरिंग दिस इज अतुल्ला उथ एनदार निव भिडियो एज वेब स्टार्टेड सी एस एस सेफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टूटेल सीरीज एंड दिस इज अल लेक्चर टोटी एट एंड इन प्रिभिया लेक्चर आई हेव जस्ट शो नो दैट हाउ चेक आवर दैट स्टफ फाउंडेशन ओके सो एक्चुअल इन प्रिभिया भिडियो हेव शो नो दैट सो उ हेव जस्ट नोटिस ओन थिंग दैट फर स्टफ फाउंडेशन और पांचिंग शेयर चेक आर नट वार्किंग एक्चुअल और पांचिंग शेयर चेक इज नट वार्किंग सो आई जस्ट सी यू वाई इट्स नट वार्किंग एक्चुअल एंड अल्सो आई जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू हेयर आई मिन इफ यू निव हेयर दैन गो टू आर प्रिभिया भिडियो दैट लिंक आर गिविन इन डिस्क्रिपन एंड अल्सो इफ यूर ए सीभिल इंजिनियर दैन डोट फर गेट टू सबसक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड अल्सो प्रेस दिल आईकन नाउ I will just unlock it, okay, and I will just delete. I will select that a uh, beam, a uh, beam, and I will just delete that simply by pressing delete option from keyboard. I will delete that now. I will go for again run an analysis. So see here now they have no beam here, okay? They have no beam here, but I will go for now punching shear shake. So I'll just simply click here. Now see here. It's showing us the punching shear check, right? Here's the punching shear value, and we know that our punching shear value should be less than one. But when we provide beam here, okay? When we provide beam here, then they have no chance for punching. They have no chance for punching. That's why. That's why it's not showing us any punching shear check, right? Actually, that is the. Reason, so I'll just close that, and I will give her. I mean, I'll draw our beam. This is our beam. So from that point to that point, and from here, I'll just press Escape. It's done. Now again, we'll go for analysis. So it's done. And we can take it also for our beam. This is beam, okay. And for design. So I'll just cancel. Now we'll go for design. So before design, I'll go ahead design. Then design preferences. You know, first lecture I have just shown you that we have to change that data from here. So for our slab, I mean this slab are here foundation are indicating as slab. So I'll just give her seventy five as this is directly exposed to earth. Our soils then seventy five and I will consider that our preferred it bar size. I'll consider that fourteen. Okay, this is the fourteen mm bar, and it's two way. And for our beam, I'll also also give here seventy five and also seventy five because our that beam are also our that beam are also exposed to earth. Then I will give you the 14 mm bar also. Then for share, I will give 12 mm. It's done. So then, okay. Yes. So it's done. No, we have changed our design preferences. Then for design combo, this is our design combo for ultimate design. We can also you can select the normal design combo if you think that it's required for you. But uh, every time the ultimate design combo is the maximum load for a building. That's why we can select that. Okay. Now here we have done it. Now I'll just again click here. I mean I'll unlock it. Now again I will go for analysis because we have changed that data. So now our design process have completed. Now I'll go here, display, then from here show slab design actually. So this is the slab design. So I'll click here show slab design, and from here is the step. Sorry, we have done a mistake actually again. I'll uh, I'll just unlock it. We have forget to draw our step, design step. So to uh, you know. Previous video I've shown you that how we'll draw our design step. Simply I'll go here, draw 
then draw design strip and uh, here it that data is okay okay this column is strip so from that point to that point I'll draw a strip and escape okay again I'll go ahead draw I'll go ahead draw and I'll draw here design strip. This is for strip B. B, but this is in column strip. Then from that point to that point, it's done. Again, go draw, then uh, design strip. And uh, I'll just equals to please uh, consider my mistake because also I'm a human and I'm just here to help you, not for professional work so it's done we have uh, provided our design strip actually you can uh, change your sorry I have just click here so it's okay so I have uh, run our analysis by clicking here so now we'll go for our design strip I mean for our design check so I'll click here show first of all I will show beam design okay show beam design so from here this is field diagram then show reinforcing envelope diagram show reinforcing chart and apply now see here it's showing us the reinforcement from that point to that point from top to bottom actually okay it's showing us the reinforcement the reinforcement the total reinforcement in bottom it's 358.668 millimeter square and in top it's 9.38343 I mean uh, 99.343 millimeter square so this is the top bar and here it's uh, changing every place from that point to that point and when we are in I mean uh, under the our under our foundation it's showing the no reinforcement in bottom actually here also and in that side it's not showing uh, most of the case it's not showing any reinforcement in top but it's record reinforcement for bottom and uh, under that column section we record reinforcement in top or bottom also everywhere this is the longitudinal bar for transverse reinforcement apply so this are uh, showing the transfer reinforcement okay uh, for transfer reinforcement it's showing 462 millimeter square per meter okay in per meter we record 600 uh, 462 reinforcement here almost and it's changing every place and here it's also changing and here record something okay this is the uh, this total for shared reinforcement if I go for longitudinal this is envelope this is flexural and for tension and also when we'll go for design then i'll recommend you please click here impose minimum reinforcing apply so it's showing the minimum uh, reinforcing of our design data right now i'll just close that and i'll go for display show slab design actually in a in our every video i have sure that how we'll go for our slab design so this is strip base and for layer a then apply it's showing the reinforcement in accordance or layer a and here it's showing according to layer a reinforcement and according to layer b i'll just close that it's showing Layer, uh, reinforcement according to be actually in that set it we record more reinforcement because because uh, our moment are working toward that side okay and here all, all us will use impose minimum reinforcing then apply now here we record the reinforcement for bottom and top the millimeter square per meter millimeter square per meter okay now I all I still command you select that both layer a layer b then click apply and after that come here topical 
uniform reinforcing specific below I will just click here and from here select your bar I will first of all I will provide 14 mm and 14 mm okay and give here the spacing of your first of all 250 uh, it's okay so when we are providing bar in top and bottom for every layer then for every side okay for that side that side here every side it's okay okay for 250 250 if we give it 300 the more spacing then apply then also it's okay in every side so if I go here for more spacing 25 apply it's also okay just see and also if we go here and must click here impose minimum reinforcement then if we go here 350 sorry 350 and 350 apply now we got some reinforcement here I'll just give it 340 then 340 then apply okay I will just uh, simply give it 25 25 apply now see here actually uh, what is the benefit here if we provide number 14 bar in top and bottom everywhere in top and bottom okay for every layer and if we give the spacing 300 300 25 in each direction then our foundation is okay for that three side that side that side and that side that side that side okay it's okay and uh, for that foundation it's also okay for our that here mm, it's okay for our x direction but it's not okay for our y direction and uh, here it's from that point to that point it's okay for our x direction and from that point to that point it's okay for our y direction so just we'll optimize for that point and when we'll design just we'll use here some extra reinforcement is this is the requirement of our extra reinforcement we'll provide here then our foundation is okay but as we are working our f I mean as we are working for our client that's why we'll not go for any rigs okay we'll just uh, take some safety that's why we'll simply two five I mean two two hundred then two hundred now see here when we are providing reinforcement in 200 millimeter away from one bar to another bar in this direction then that foundation is okay they have no issue with that foundation but in that foundation we have some some issue only for that y direction okay and only for bottom not top and here also only for bottom not for top now I'll just go here one seven five then apply now this is also okay for our e strip I mean uh, in our layer a or x direction it's also okay now after that we'll go for our direction I mean in that direction and I'll go one five zero it's also not okay 25 it's okay now now see here we have found here different types of criteria for our foundation for our that foundation our reinforcement it is okay for both direction when we are providing 200 millimeter into 200 millimeter in each direction and for that foundation it's okay for top it's 200 and for bottom it's 1 to 5 and also we can optimize okay for uh, different types of direction but I will just request you please uh, use that data for full that foundation 
and 200 into 200 for that foundation i think that will be okay actually mm, uh, in etabs or or in CSS safe or foundation detailing is not good that's why i'm not going to show that and in a previous video i've shown that but we can use that detailing properly so from that data from that data we have to draw our detailing manually and i will create video on it that how we'll oh, draw our manual detailing after completing our that CSSF 2016 tutorial series so if you think that it was helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that we get I mean you get every update ever first and also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video